All right, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the Cruyff to Glory. The first owner, Poor Man Road to Glory, around Cruyff. Whatever you want to define it as, I could care less. Welcome back to the series. I've been looking through the comments. I've been looking through uh, your guys' messages. And it honestly, now, Twitch and YouTube are kind of on the same level, which is super exciting for me. Uh, everybody seems to just be enjoying the grind. You guys are seeing that it is a first owner, Poor Man Road to Glory. So it's near impossible to improve the team. Um, and that's all an absolutely fantastic thing. Now, this is the final day before the official launch of the game. This is basically the last day before everybody that's ordered their ultimate version gets the full game, uh, gets their 4,600 FIFA points. So I'm both not nervous, but excited and apprehensive about where the market's gonna go. The market is low right now, man. I, is it gonna go lower? Is it gonna peak? Whatever it is. I mean, whatever your thoughts are, feel free to leave it as always in the comments, or we can talk about it live on stream, twitch.tv slash nick 28 but more importantly, today is a big day because we have our squad battle rewards. Elite one squad battle rewards for the day. We actually have a whole bunch of objectives done and ready to go as well. And as I mentioned, looking at some of the comments, I've started to notice that a lot of you guys are, as much as at least on YouTube, you're really enjoying the commentary, uh, the commentary, the, uh, the, the videos, there's a few things I'm not doing, and one of them is when we pack a good player, I'm not really showing the restructuring of the team and the rebuilding of the team. So, my apologies. I guess because we're doing such long grinds on stream, and because even the videos are edited through eight hours, like I'm doing a you know six to eight hour grind, and then Armalika's piecing things together, I kind of forget to show the team a lot of the times, because I feel like it just shows up a lot as we're grinding, as we're doing this and that, and I sometimes forget about you, YouTube. So, apologies. In terms of where the team is at, just a quick one before we get into the Elite One rewards and all the other crazy packs that we have saved up for today. I think we're going to work through all the advanced SBCs today and into tomorrow as well, just in preparation for October 1st for the one to watches. Uh, I think that's going to be very, very fun and something that uh, I'm looking forward to as well. Again, because the advanced SBCs are relatively cheap right now, and for some reason, I feel like do you guys think the advanced SBCs are going to get more expensive when more people are on the game and grinding? Or maybe tomorrow, with the dip in the market, maybe the advanced SBCs start plummeting too. I, I'm so torn. There's so many different things, especially when running the, you know, poor man road to glory of any type. A no FIFA point RTG of any type. You have so many things that you're trying to figure out. Nevertheless, this is the squad. In terms of a quick review... Um, this guy's a god. I, I I do really, really like him. Yes, his two-star weak foot is probably his biggest issue. But in compared to Richarlison and a few of the other players we've had in the club, he's fantastic, man. 21 goals and 12 assists in 24 games with Johan Cruyff in the team behind him is an incredible um, uh, result. And speaking of Johan, 40 games, 51 goals. He's already at the half century mark or above the half century mark 20 assists is fantastic Cruyff would probably have about 75 assists but the problem is, is as we all know it's near impossible to score right now in the game and uh, yes these goal scoring ratios are very good but had the players around him had better you know better scoring boots on yeah his assists would probably be almost equal to or more than his shots Saul is awesome I think at this point he's kind of dropping off a little bit and we're going to talk about what players are goaded in the team and what players now need replacement as we move through higher and higher division rivals and then start preparing for playoffs and all that stuff. Saul does have to go, if I'm completely honest. And as much as I love Inaki, I think even at this point, we're going to start trying to look for an even better striker. He'll do. He'll be just fine. But he isn't a uh, a a lock in the starting 11. The only lock right now in the starting 11, obviously, is Johan Cruyff, as it is a Cruyff road to glory. Um, so Saul... He's been good, but he's not good enough. So he's got to go. He's, he's a, someone that needs replacement. Everton is a pile of donkey scrotum. One goal in 17 games. Sweet Jesus, help me. Can we today, out of all things, pack a good right-footed attacking player that we can put on the left instead of this pile of trash? Please. Um, Genie is, uh, beside Johan Cruyff, my favorite player in this team, I honestly could see myself using this guy for months that's how much I love him. Months, at least in terms of the like top tier games. When we need to build squads for friendlies or division rivals and whatever, that's fine. But for playoffs and champs, this guy is not coming out of the team, at least not for a while, unless we get his one to watch, fingers crossed. Um, Rafi, I love him, man. Again, considering he plays wide right, you guys all know how I play 4-2-3-1. My wide players do have a tough time contributing, which is why Everton is not doing great. But 
with wide yeah. players having difficulty contributing, with this game being damn near impossible to score in, with goalkeepers being nuts, with me not really knowing how to score, even then, through 25 games, he's got 12 goals and 9 assists. Absolutely fantastic. Global, thank you for all the uh, clothing orders. The F Cancer shirts, obviously on sale. All profits going to cancer research to the BC Cancer Foundation. 7th annual 40-hour charity stream is starting in... What are we talking now? Like six days, five days? Insane how quickly that's come around. Um, Zinchenko, awful. That whole left side is a nightmare right now, really. Everton and Zinchenko need replacements. Um, Ake, I really like, but I do think it's coming time where ooh, it'd be nice to get a replacement for him. I still like him. He still does fine, but either that or I need to just spend the money and put a shadow on him. Something like that. It's one of those two things. I either need a better replacement or we spend the cash to improve that pace because we're starting to get burned for pace. Sergio Ramos, I love. We've just recently put a uh, catalyst on him. Now, he doesn't have full chem, so he's not getting the plus 10. But I love Sergio Ramos, man. He's got three goals in 15 games from corners as well. He's so, so damn sick. Really, really enjoy this card, even though I feel like everyone in the community will avoid using him because he's got low pace. I love him. And the high-medium work rates... Either way, all great. Love him. Uh, James, again, has been good for a while. I can't believe he actually scored. I forgot he scored. Been good for a while, but absolutely needs replacement now. And so does Galini. Galini does need to be replaced. So if we look at the team, realistically, there's Cruyff, Genie, Rafi, and Ramos. There's four guys. We're what? Seven, eight episodes in? Nine episodes in now? We only have four actual starting 11 players if we want to consider our foot champ squad and whatever so for those of you that were worried that the series would go too quickly oh no don't worry it's going exactly the opposite at a turtle pace in terms of pack luck so let's change that today and see if we can get some good pack pulls but for those of you guys that have been asking for a quick little squad review there it is for you now this might end up making this a little bit longer of an epi but anyways it is what it is um so let's claim all of these objectives. We did a little bit of grinding last night to get some things done. So the Hullet objective is done. We got a premium Electrum players pack. I don't know, like, do we start saving uh, packs for the up and coming one to watch promo? I, I don't know. I feel like we probably should just stick with this grind, right? And, and just do it open packs daily because as we've seen, I only have four real good players if we want to consider starting to um go into the playoffs to qualify for weekend league so I i'm caught in two minds do we save the packs for one to watch do we just rip packs to try and get a better and better club even before one to watch our in packs i don't know man I'm, I'm i'm a little bit torn there i think maybe the really big packs from advanced SBCs we save for otw but all of this stuff we we start ripping i'm thinking that might be uh the move nevertheless another 75 to 83 pack we got another first stone finish stuff. This is pretty fun. The reward is great, but I mean, what is it here? This one's going to be hard to do. This is going to have to obviously, is it this one? This one. So we'll, this one will actually get done, you know, in just a, a matter of time. Um, and this one will take a little bit of time too. But I like that. 100k pack for first stone. Nice. EA showing love to the first stone grinders out there like us. Pretty sweet. Stadium and development could care less about this. I'll claim this on my own time. I don't want to waste any time opening those trash packs. So there it is all opened up. And then finally, before we get into the packs, the grind is continuing, boys. So we did another good session of the BPM. Not as profitable as last uh, yesterday, but still very, very good. There's still some players that are selling for good money. And um, more importantly, we're constantly replenishing our coins, even while buying gold players for, uh, as you can see here, for the gold upgrade pack so it's 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 going well the bronze pack method is doing everything that i want it to do and we still have a few unsold items that i'm going to relist again now i don't know because you guys would have already seen the 6 p.m content epi but my plan is for today the 6 p.m content epi if there's non-tent again today we probably will still have the five gold two player upgrade packs for the end of that that quick episode but i was thinking and maybe it's already been done but if there's no non-tent today, we do a bronze pack method tutorial video where I take 10 or 15 minutes walking you guys through the process and almost just vocalizing and verbalizing every single bronze pack and every single item I open so that whenever someone has a question like, how are you doing the bronze pack? How are you doing this? How are you doing that now? We can just refer them to that BPM video. Uh, that's the plan. So hopefully I, I was able to do that today. In terms of transfer targets, I'm just having a look at the market and stuff right now. Like I said, everything seems just 
so insanely low. So today, see today it's up a little bit, man. This market is mad, dude. I had a feeling last night I should have started bidding on players, man, and stuff. Crazy. So you think the market might just start shifting upwards now? What about even the Veratis? Yeah, I mean, even, even Veratis a little bit higher than he was yesterday. Interesting. Very, very interesting market. I, it confuses the hell out of me. I'm not going to lie. Um, right. So let's go claim our squad battle rewards, boys. Here we go. Elite. Well, I'm glad we stayed Elite 1 because the, 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 the numbers were just going up and up and up. I repeat, it was said last episode, but I want to repeat this for those of you guys that maybe, again, you don't watch the full 45 minute or hour long edited videos. Maybe you didn't catch it on stream because it was late night. I am of the thought process that squad battles is a pile of shite. It, they've nerfed the rewards this year. The gameplay is so much harder and more frustrating. And to get these rewards, you are putting in 8 to 10 hours of gameplay. That's 8 to 10 hours of your week. Whether it's it could be used in the menus, what it could be used in Division Rivals, whether it can be used... So the point is, is it really depends what you want to get out of squad battles, okay? If you're one of those guys that we talked about that really likes offline gameplay, you're actually probably very excited because uh, in one part, squad battles is now very hard. Those of you guys that don't want to bother with the annoying FIFA sweats and online... Squad Battles now gives you that vibe. And then you can just pause the game whenever you want. You can do whatever you want. So that is a benefit. For the lovers of Squad Battles, it's uh, it's it's a good thing in terms of gameplay. However, if you do use Squad Battles because you love it and you don't like online gameplay, you've actually kind of been pissed on by EA because the rewards have been completely nerfed. They've been completely nerfed from top to bottom. So that is already a negative from Squad Battles, even for those that love them. But this is where I want to make my point. If you play Squad Battles purely for the packs return and the rewards please if you are a dad or a college student you have limited time use your time more wisely the squad battles return is horrific eight to ten hours for two 50k packs for twenty six thousand coins it's terrible you can spend 30 minutes doing the bpm and you'll make twenty six thousand coins you can spend 30 minutes trading and make a couple of hundred thousand coins on very basic stuff you can watch, you know, run the FUD market and learn from him. You can, I mean, listen maybe closely to even the little things I talk about because I give a little bit of trading thought process there, but I'm not deep and I'm not a super talented superstar like run the FUD market is in terms of trading or FUD spy or Matt, you know, FUD trading those guys. But I still kind of know a few things. Nevertheless, if you put the time in there, you're going to do so much better. For God's sakes, if you put the time into online gameplay, you will actually do a lot better than squad battles. So that's kind of my opinion. I am a little bit disappointed with how they've nerfed squad battles. Even having said that, because we are running a first owner PMRTG and packs are important, I was gonna not worry at all about squad battles anymore outside of objectives. So the only thing I would say, if you want rewards and returns on your grind, obviously you still are gonna have to play squad battles because of course, uh, you're going to need to do it, do them for objectives. But I think that's going to be the limit for me. I'm just going to do squad battles purely from an objectives standpoint. So 82 plus rated rare player premium electrum pack. I guess we'll do the 75s first. So first pack of the day, long winded intro today, but there's a lot of stuff as always through the intros that we got to get through. La Celso. Okay. How we just said I wanted to maybe get rid of Saul. That's an interesting pick. Or pack. Or pull. LaCelso's kind of... Kind of a nice... Ch Wait, two of them. Oh, I didn't realize you got two. High, high work rates as well. I think Saul is... It, it, so, Saul has a little bit worse pace, but has the better defending that we need. So, that's too bad. Yeah, he, I mean, he seems like an okay player, but... Um, Anyways, it, it is what it is. I don't think he's actually going to replace Saul. Another 75 times 83? Come on, give me a Lacroix. Give me a St. Max. St. Max would be the dream. French? No. And Cuckoo looks good this year. He does look good this year. I don't know if that's going to be helpful, though. Oh, man. All right. All good, all good, all good. It's just the start of the day. Got lots to open here. Lots to grind through. 6 p.m. content with the five player picks. <coughs> I think that's a dupe. Oh no. Have we started the day already with a dupe? 
Seriously? Oh, let's go. It's not a dupe. Beautiful. Okay, we move. So the 75 times 83 packs were not great. What's What would be next then? Two rare gold player pack. Here we go. So this is the bread and butter of this series right now, these packs. No board. English. Striker. Oh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. That's not going to really help us out much either, boys. Unf Oof. Okay. Not great. Not great. We move. 82 plus rated rare player. It should be a decent pack. So let's do the premium election player pack. Come on. Come on. Boards. Okay. And immediately nobody cares. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Come on, dude. Ay, 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 Ilicic. He's insane this year? Is he really? He's goaded? Oh. Why well, you guys making me feel bad about not being happy about the pull? Oh my god, he's five star, four star. Is he goaded though at six foot three? I suppose if you give him an engine, 83 balance, 88 agility, 98 dribbling. 79 sprint speed, 71 acceleration. Finesse shot, flare. Uh, Zway would like this guy for sure, I feel like. Zway would body faint everybody's nuts off with this dude. 63 stam is an oof. That's okay, though. You just sub him off in the 50th anyways. Um, I mean, uh, he's going to be SBC fodder. He just is. All right. Restocking the club of the non-rares. Things you love. Right. Here we go, boys. Moment of truth. So, first things first. The 82 plus rated. Come on. Boards. Ocampos looks kind of good. Again, is he better though than even Everton? Does he get into our team? Probably not, right? Messi. Bro, I would have passed out if that was Messi. Oh my goodness. I mean, he's slightly better. He is slightly better. I mean, we might as well try him today. See if he's see if he's even usable. How did you get 82 plus? Just from objectives. There's there's you just look through the objective section. It's all there. Yeah, we could try him instead of Everton. Come on, man. Surely Elite One Squad Battle Rewards give us something here. Please. So apparently these are have a guaranteed 83 plus in there. Most unique top rated players, all single pack, includes 12 items, all real. It doesn't say though. Are you sure, guys? Hmm. 82 plus? Okay. All right. Here we go. Come on. Walk out! Andy Robertson! Oh my god! He goes right into the team. Ah, yes! Exactly what we needed, boys. We absolutely need to get him a shadow or maybe even a catalyst, though. Up that pace, boys. Oh my god, Andy. Damn, looks good in the leads kit too, doesn't he, boys? Woo! What a pull. That's so big for the series, dudes. Is this what we're doing now? Now, the rest of the day, I'm going to... I promise you, the rest of the day, I'm going to get nothing from PAX. Every day, we get, like, one guy that goes right into the team. He's really good as well. He's so good. Heck yeah, dude. I think with a Catalyst, he'd actually be pretty legit too, right? You boost the passing. Oh, nice. Hey, I love Andy, man. What a player. What a talented, talented player. <gasps> oh, 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 there's not a lot there. There's not many Danglers, boys, unfortunately. Alexander Isaac is a bit of a beast. Alexander Isaac is a little bit of a beast. Oh, po oh, Potence! Should we put Potence in? Potence is kind of legit, man. Four star, four star. He used to be like 4K, 5K. I mean, he's only 2K now. Okay, I over-celebrated there. I apologize. That's cringe. But Potence and Robertson would improve the team immediately. Yeah, Konza, I mean, I'll stick with Nathan Ake, though. I like hey, Konza, is he like 5K still? No, wow, my God, dude. These prices are actually still on the floor. Um, Awar? How are we? What a great fuck club name. Oh, wow, he's not worth anything. Yeah, Alexander Isaac is fantastic. Absolutely dirt cheap. Um, well, 65 shooting, though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, what does that look like? Oh, my days. <laughs> well, give him a maestro, I suppose. Hope for the best. Yeah, I, well, surely he can be worse than Everton. 
surely he can't be worse than Everton. So, nice. Hey, Andy Robertson is huge. Monster left back pulls. All right, boys. Final pack of the Elite One Squad Battle Rewards. Well, damn. Were these actually worth it? I guess so. Can we get back-to-back -back walkouts? No. Boards. Oh, God. Left back. We get two goaded left backs in one day. Oh, my God. Oh, now I don't know what to do. We hate it here. <laughs> Wait, what do I do now? He's 55k and that's low. I'm sure he'll go up to 80, 90k. Best left back in the game? Really? Theo is better? Bro, we just got Andy. And now... <laughs> Why would I sell? Sell him? Why? There's a first owner PMRTG, you weirdos. If I wanted to make 45k, I'd just spend half an hour for an hour on bronze packs. These are the types of players we need, man. Y'all are weird, dude. Anyways, okay, any danglers? Maybe a Lacroix, maybe a St. Max. Oh, Sebenzer is good. <gasps> oh my lord. What? Dude, EA are trying to make me look like a twat. These are insane, bro. We got Upa Mikano, Hernandez, and freaking Andy Robertson. We got Upa Mikano and Hernandez in the same pack, man. Is Alan good? Is he even good even? Holy moly! Okay, so he's 17k. He's 60k. Holy God, that's like 75k right there. I mean, Dirty Mike, I don't know how much he goes for. He's about 4k. That's about 80k-ish. And then what, is Upa still extinct? No, he's 20k. Bro, that is uh, almost 100k, 50k pack, bro. Mental scenes. Mental scenes. Okay, we'll get rid of uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. That will pay for a third of a gold upgrade pack. Uh, well, there you go. That's pretty much two-thirds of a gold upgrade fa pack paid for. Fantastic. Very nice. Um, Right. I wonder if I... Should I sell these guys, the, the other dudes that I'm not going to use? Now, I know I just made fun of you guys for telling me to sell him, but I'm not going to sell Upa. He's sick, right? Alan... Ooh, how do we fit... A Maybe we go Alan and Richarlison again? Does Fred sell? Is Fred even good? Holy Jesus. Why is Fred 7k? He's so bad. <laughs> hey, Fred sucks, bro. Have people watched him play in real life? Why is he expensive? Fred is very good in game. He's left footed, right? Hi, hi. Yeah, four star, four star. Facts. He ain't replacing Genie though. But Alan. Oh man, this Alan kind of. How would I... Oh, I, unfortunately, I think we'd have to go back to... Oh, we got to rebuild the squad, boys. All right, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's keep this... Let's keep this going here real quick. Let's keep this going here real quick. This is this is what YouTube wanted to see in terms of uh, when we get our pack pulls, how we build the team out. So let's keep it... Let's keep it flowing. So if we want to talk about things... Um... Right? Those two. Who is Upa? Man. We got almost everything we needed to upgrade. How crazy is that, Alan? So let's see. How would we do this? I'm thinking something like this. And then this. And then... Hmm. I suppose. Oopa. Yikes. The problem here is we I don't really have anything else, buddies. I don't really have much else. Let me build the squad and then we'll show you guys YouTube or we'll we'll show you guys the finished product. I'm gonna chit chat about uh uh, about what to do with my Twitch chat, and then we'll we'll figure out the squad, okay? 
Jesus. Yeah, Armalika, you might have to edit that down. <laughs> oh my god. You might have to edit that down a little bit, bro. That is a fucking... Is that a 30 minute long intro? Did I literally... Did I just do a 30 minute long intro? 20 minutes. 43. Well, like a 24 minute long intro. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Um... Wait, I can't search for... That's really annoying. Nice. Used condom. Poor man RTG life. Yep. That's facts, huh? <laughs> Kind of gross, but. Perfect. All right. Everybody's got the chem styles. Not the ideal chem styles, chat, but I, I more want some pace on my defenders. So the way to do it, because, I mean, these guys kind of already have pretty okay defending. I'm not saying 77 defending is amazing, but it's okay. Uh, anyone else had their FIFA 22 locked without the license and still have access to hours left? Uh, I think you just need to, what was it chat again? You like re, <gasps> reassess something or other. Like you redo the licenses or something, man. And then you're good to go. Restore licenses. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so how to... I mean, realistically, that's where the squad is, boys. There's the rebuild for the squad with a couple of new pulls. We got Allen in there now. So he's got a plus eight on his pace, which is going to be very, very helpful. We got El Shah in there, who doesn't look very good. I'm not going to lie. But again, anything's an improvement on Everton. So we got Mr. Theo in here, who looks absolutely insane. I hope he does play well. Last year, I didn't really like Theo. Everybody told me Theo was good. I didn't really like him all that much. We got Upa on plus 7 for pace. 77 acceleration, 97 sprint speed is legit. Mr. Sergio Ramos on plus 7s as well. We got Carvajal on plus 7. So he's up to 86 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. Pretty usable. And then we're going to do... For Summer, I'm going to try a glove on him and see if that helps. Because his reflexes of 86 and 84 kicking is pretty good as it is. So... What is that? 86 diving, 92 handling, and then 90 positioning with 86 reflexes. Seems like he'll be good, but then again, he's six feet tall. So I don't know if I'm just going to concede long shots or not, but there is the new and improved squad. Fuck. Fuck. W. W. What was it again? One hour and one. Oh, Armalik is chilling. All right. Just trying to make your life easier, bro, whenever I remember. Not, not, no, I don't always remember, but we try. Oh, no, I know. I'm just doing it for, like, markers type of thing. Summer was terrible for me. Yeah, it's the only, I mean, it's the only option I got, boys. That's the only option I got. So, we're going to take on some Rivals gameplay. There we go. All right. I think that's us ready to go. That is us ready to go, boys. Heck yeah. All right, let's see what this guy's got. Okay, so pretty well put together Prem setup. Not bad at all. Final day of early access, full game tomorrow. Let's see. New players all running in the setup. The goal immediately it is to Good tackle. Well, I bottled that. I should have conceded there. That was my fault for sure. 
Really nice play with Rafi from this guy. This guy knows what he's doing, so. I mean, I feel like if this someone's still playing FIFA with early access out at this this late in the in the run, they know what they're doing. There it is! Oh no way! What a play! How does Johan miss that? It's Johan! Oh, I thought we for sure were one nothing up there. What? Lovely little Burbaspin, exactly what he did to me. Yeah, that's literally unbelievable. And there you go. One nothing down seconds later. Classic FIFA cheese. All right. Oh, that's cool. There it is, Johan. Lovely goal. See, buddy, I don't need to celebrate. Let's go, man. Let's have a game of football. Nobody cares about running to the crowd and celebrating, you weirdo. Let's go. So annoying. This guy's going to score again, dude. Off of just double bounce backs. Like three, four good tackles. This freaking... I thought I was able to stop this stuff, dudes. Were we not able to do that? Well, it's been a good game so far. Dude, come on. But if they are to get back into this, they need to be more disciplined defense. That's He's literally get getting goals off of just double and triple bounce backs. What do we do? Why is this a thing again? He almost got his third goal from the exact same thing again. Why is it that it's always the that get every bounce go their way? I, I would love to know how you have this coded. It's like they have a toxicity meter. The big you are, the more idiotic bounces you get so you can run and be a toxic weirdo. Now El Sharawi. Play. Good football. It's just now about taking one of those chances to get No, that's my fault. I was really hoping I'd get a quick touch there and then shoot near post. Ah, oh, he shot before the first touch. Again, I think that is my fault though. I'm gonna miss that. I mean at the very least it should be a foul, right? Well it's a difficult yi. but he almost pulled it off there Good for the counter attack. Is it going to be? It's a good goal. Bruno Fernandes. I don't even have a fucking team. It's literally like I don't have a team. Again, he has a 3.4 expected goals from 8 shots, gets 4 goals. I have a 3.4 expected goals from 16 shots, I get 1 goal. Again, where's the balance? Where, where's the balance? He gets above his expected goal tally on less shots. I get nowhere near my even expected goal tally on double the shots. Maybe 3 of those shots were, were from a bit ridiculous range. Sure, I had my own players blocking my shots, I had his keeper making wonder save after wonder save, meanwhile, my, I'm conceding double bounce back goals or my keeper's doing this. Sommer's passing the ball into the net for him. That's a good goal. I actually thought it was a pretty good goal until you watch the fact that he just shot it at Sommer. He finessed it with one bar of power at Sommer and Sommer just spills it into the net. Look! And of course, Sommer's spilling it. If Sommer doesn't touch it, Ramos just clears it off the line. It's just silly, man. It's just silly. It's silly. I know it's the start of the game, so it is what it is. I'm not saying the game's bad. I'm just saying, once again, it's frustrating. This game has no balance to it. One guy gets every goal go his way. Every ball go his way. The dribbling is working his way. The other guy, it's just hell on earth. Hell on earth. Anyways, who cares? We move on. Sweet. Brilliant piece of skill. Good goal, good goal, Johan. This has been such an insanely sweaty rivals experience, bro. I was banging teams um, this like rating and chemistry. Did you guys see the frame dropping there? The whole game went to like one FPS. Did you guys see the frame dropping there? This is PS5. Look at this touches from my players. I don't mean to get upset for the reason of getting upset, but did you see the frame dropping? How the f*** am I meant to play a pass when the game goes down to like one frame a minute? Not even a second. Oh, this is horrible. Oh. 
Jesus, man. I, boys, I want to keep it positive, but this is wild. I, I repeat, this guy's not had a shot yet. And you know his first shot's going to be a goal because of, well, what you're seeing here. I mean, that should be a foul, but anyways. This is so hard. What? Why is that such a bad pass? All right. I don't know. It's tough. This is very, very, very tough. The well-built goals, the well-put-together goals, I feel like I can't score to save my life, man. But these random little things here and there, I seem to score like they're going out of style, boys. <laughs> Great finish. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Hernandez is fantastic. I'll say that. Upa Ramos, Carvajal, pretty good. Allen and Wijnaldum, good. I mean, this whole team is good. Once I bring on uh, Williams and Lataro Martinez, this team is very good. I'd break my controller over that. Well, you shouldn't because you're getting smashed. So if you're this guy and can see that, you shouldn't be breaking anything. This dude should be losing about 6 nothing right now. But then we score that. Well, here it is again. And just look at this. It's such good technique. Bro, Johan Cruyff and Inaki Williams are missing 100% shots with 80% of the net to hit. Keepers making wonder saves. That pot shot from an impossible angle and we score. I waited too long. My fault. Good ball. All right. Well, GG, I guess. Um, nice 4 nothing win there. I, I feel like I totally deserve that. Honestly, did this guy have a shot? Did he have a shot at all? I'm trying to think. He had one shot all game. Bro, what are we doing here? Dear Lord. 12 shots. 2.3 expected goals, apparently, from 12 shots. I feel like I gotta improve my, my shot decision making. But, like, that wonder save off of Inaki Williams was crazy, dude. I thought for sure we were going to end up losing or drawing this game when he missed that chance. But anyways. All right, boys. Uh, this is going to be the tail end of the long form edited epi for the day. Uh, again, not sure what type of gameplay Armalika showed you. I would say today's been uh, very frustrating for the online gameplay. Uh, I understand that it's new. I understand that I'm trying to learn and figure my way through the game and, and get a better understanding of the game. So it's going to take some time to get good, but I still do have those reserved worries about the game. I'm not going to, as I told you guys, I'm not going to say the game is good or bad or whatever it is because it's way too early. I mean, for God's sakes, the, the full game isn't out until tonight, right? So into tomorrow's epi is when the full game is out. But there are concerns, man. There seems to be, at least on next-gen console, some serious delay issues. Delay... Whether or not it's servers, whether or not it's player motion, whether or not it's coding in the hyper motion technology of next gen. So you get into a space, you go to shoot, and the player doesn't move into the space and shoot as you click shoot. They, they then take an extra touch as if EA is trying to make them animate into a shot. And it's not just shooting into open spaces. Once again, someone's diving at you with their defender. You, you see it, you time it, you're moving out of the way as they come in and your player takes like an extra delayed movement. So they just get clattered anyways. Similar with passing, similar with movement. Someone's flying in on you, you click pass, the passing option is there, but your t player takes an extra half second. So that pass that was there when you click pass isn't there when your player decides to make the pass. So the pass gets intercepted. So those things I really feel like are actually anti skill gap, anti like a, a skill window is very small in this game because there's so much, once again, RNG. There is going to be a lot of skill, but at least early days, all this weird delay, at least on next gen, is, is, is truly making it hard to grind through. Now, on stream, twitch.tv slash nick 20 I'm going to keep grinding online gameplay and stuff like that for the day, at least for the episode. This is the tail end where we've got five uh, gold two-player upgrades crafted. We have this final, like, basic 
League SBC, now that we can get it done, we'll get it done. We get a premium silver player pack and then a mixed player pack for the completion. Once again, just to get these SBCs pushed and out of the way so we can really focus for the one to watch and hero promo coming this Friday. Uh, can start working on all of these other things. So again, as always, I appreciate you guys' support. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the double uploads that'll probably be going all year until I really give up with this, you know, first owner, poor man, road to glory and, and ultimate team in general, the 6 p.m. epis, the, the long form edited epis that up, get uploaded at 8 a.m. UK. I hope you're enjoying it, man. Me and Armalik are putting a hell of a lot of effort into it. Uh, let me know as well. The 6 p.m. epi is the bronze pack method tutorial. So if you guys missed that and you're wondering, in great detail how and what we're doing within uh the bronze pack method it's a full detailed what is it 15 minute long video uh, of the ins and outs of everything that i'm doing check it out i really do hope it helps you guys out if you have questions make sure you ask it within that video or jump in on stream and ask me uh via detail on stream oh here we go okay we got a couple more packs here to finish off the day i can't imagine any of these will have anything good in them i'm hoping at least uh one of the five gold two player packs will have something good in them but it is what it is, right? We've had an incredible day today. Obviously, it's kind of crazy to think because it was like eight hours ago or seven hours ago, but it was our Elite One Squad Battle rewards today, and my God, were they good. So once again, before the end of this epi, this is the squad that we're rolling with. No changes yet. I love the whole team now. Now the good news is we're down to three truly problematic players in this team as opposed to what was it seven players at the start of the epi richarlison is terrible i'm sorry if you like him fair play i think he's absolute garbage once i bring anaki on it's a new world entirely uh, i i really like anaki so he gets subbed on usually at halftime el sharawe is awful once again i bring on lataro martinez at halftime things go well and then unfortunately the biggest issue with this damn team because honestly today we've lost four games three of which were one nothing games and my goalkeeper faced one shot and conceded, whereas once again, my opponent's keepers are facing 10 to 25 shots and not conceding a single one. Is it Sommer? Is he bad? Is he terrible? Am I bad? Am I giving up only one chance and it's a good chance? I don't know. When it comes to being double bounce back deflected tappins, I don't know what I can do more than make a tackle and then hope to win the ball and then having it just bounce back to my opponent's striker for a tap and I just don't know how... To improve on that so if you guys have suggestions obviously on stream as well if you want to give me those suggestions that would be great but that is where the squad is at at least at the end of the day and then let's get into these final nine packs can we get something to help the club to look forward to using tomorrow to start off the day let's see so the silver two player the silver pack itself i'm actually going to skip because who cares about the animations of it right if we do get something good though it'd be nice i want like do all these silvers sell I don't know if I want to sell the main leagues, but what about all these guys? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Before I store them in the club, I'm going to throw them all onto the trade pile. And I'm just going to keep the top five league and the Sud, as we, just like we do with the bronze pack method. And then after this epi, I'll go through and uh, list them up for whatever their prices are. So that's cool. I didn't realize that was tradable. That's nice. Uh, three common golds. What else do we got here? The mixed with one rare. So let's do the three common golds first. Surely there won't be a dupe in this. I think we have about three non-rare golds in the club right now. Perfect. Okay. Very nice. That'll just go into more gold two-player upgrade packs. We've got a one rare mixed pack as well. Okay. So no rare actual player. What will the rare item be? It'll be untradeable no matter what. That's okay. That's actually decent. Four players, some contracts, uh, red, orange crowd cards. These actually are annoying more than anything. I think I'm going to take them off of my stadium because they, as you can see slightly in the background, they just float around in game and they're and in the menus and it just looks ugly. So I, th I actually think I'm going to get rid of those. I don't know. Well, they kind of look a little bit cool there, I guess, in the background. Um, right. So Five gold player picks, but uh, it's not gold player picks. Why am I saying that? Gold two player packs. Before we do that, let's do the prime. Okay, right, so that looks like a Libertadores player. Nothing special with that. But one, ooh, trade. Well, tradable doesn't really matter. I'm gonna keep all of them. Once again, I will throw these guys up there. Um, I'm gonna just really quickly check. The bronze is perfect, so he has a value. Nice, of a couple hundred. He doesn't, so we'll store him. 
He's got a nice little value. Very nice. Good couple of pulls in terms of helping out the club for coins and assets within the club. Here we go. Final five. Surely we can't finish with another good pull today, can we? Well, that's boards already. Oh, God. I'm tempted to try this guy instead of Sommer. Honestly. What do you guys think we just throw Herdeki in the team instead of Sommer? Sommer's been that bad today. That's actually kind of helpful. How tall is he is the real question. 6'4". I'm going to use him. I'm going to use him. Thank you for the F Cancer short order, baby. Supporting Cancer Research and our 40-hour charity stream. October 1st. God bless. Second. Well, this is technically the seventh. Right? Hey! We get a walkout! I know it's not huge, but at the end of the day, an 89 rated Kareem Benzema. Let's go! Good stuff, boys. Very, very nice. That's awesome. Kareem the Dream. I feel like once again with an engine, he should be legit, man. He should be very good. Should we try him at striker as a super sub? What do you guys think? Considering I just said Richarlison is one of the guys I hate. We should absolutely try him. He'll have to be a super sub. He'll come on at halftime. But isn't it so bright? I can't even see the leads kit. It's so damn bright. Is that, I wonder if that's something with walkouts. Anyways, that is really good. We'll have a look at his in-games. I feel like an engine would definitely ben benefit him. Maybe a maestro even. A Vidal. Last time I checked, Vidal was relatively expensive too. High, high. Three star, four star. Isn't um the craziest thing in the world. Sorry, I had my AC unit on in the background. I feel like you guys would have heard feedback through the mic when I started speaking. It's just the AC unit when it's on. It's not actually issue with audio or your headphones or anything like that. Does he sell? Not that I can sell him anyways. Okay, so he's 2K. And Benzema's what, like 8K or something idiotic? Oh, wow, he's way up in price now. 20K, very nice. Very nice. Not that we can sell him, but either he's great SBC fodder or very good as well to use near the start of the game. Super, super hyped about that. Nice. Okay. Well, only, we'll only end up doing 10 of these today, but it's it's paid off. Perfect. So third one to end the day. Eric Bailly again. Now the other Eric Bailly we got rid of, of course. So no dupes is always a good thing. Uh, it's a pretty poor gold two player pack when you think that does cost 3,500 coins. Anyways, second to last. No boards. Oh, God. Oh, that is... That is... <laughs> that's not a good one. Benzema's God tier. Nice. Now, this guy could get into our league... Uh, uh, La Liga team, sorry. That's just a cheap and relatively pacey left back. Maybe we get... Maybe he gets into our set? Mm, I don't know about that. 70 interceptions is a yikes. All right. Final pack of the epi, final pack of the day. Thank you guys so much for the support, as always, on YouTube. And we'll see you tomorrow for, as always, I guess the first thing you'll see is our 6 p.m. content epi. The game launches, ultimate game launches, so enjoy your official full game tomorrow. We'll see what 6 p.m. content there is. And then, of course, we'll have the full day's grind uploaded. And the Monday content and the Monday pack spam hopefully turns out to be good. So I love you. I appreciate you. Let's see. Can we get another walkout to end off the day? Come on. No, oh my god, it's a freaking Libertadores player. Oh, that is rough. And that's the high the top the, the top rated player, right? We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!